Hello guys, and today I'm going to show you a game where both um, players blundered their queens in what has been informally known as a Botas Gambit, named after the um, Botas sisters who um, do chess streaming videos, and whenever they blunder a queen, they claim it's a Botas Gambit. It's been used. Um, within the chess community, including by top players who also stream and comment on it, okay? Anyway, you'll see both um, players will actually blunder their queens, and both players will also resurrect their queens. But you will notice how important it is, and how um, to actually get a queen... Um, promote it, a pawn promoted to a queen before the your opponent can. And you'll see just how close it can be. Okay, let's watch. I don't normally do this. I normally start doing things like this, where I move the king rook pawn. I like to do this to open up files. Also, it discourages castling. Move the book out of the way. For some reason, the computer thinks white's about to get a checkmate. I don't see it myself, but never mind. If an eye out, so if um, I don't understand some white thinks it's doing so well, but never mind. They then take suddenly the computer thinks that was a very bad move. Take the bishop, so. Now they're moving their knight out, nothing clever so far. Lose a pawn, but actually gain a rank. A file, so the idea is, is it's not quite an open file, but um, the G file, which is next to the um, rook on the very left, is now open with the exception of one of my, one of my white opponent's white pawns. Is this to threaten a knight? I then castle, something I rarely do. And I'm not even sure why I did it, but there you go. Now it's where it starts to get a bit more interesting. I move the king up to protect the bishop. And then take the knight. For some reason, oh yes, this is because I thought it might actually, they might actually try to get to some sort of checkmate here. So I was protecting the bishop and allowing the knight to be taken later. However, that was a blunder by me. I lost my queen. But don't worry, later on my opponent blundered their queen as well. I then get a rook. I lose a bishop. It now looks so it's going terribly badly for me. This rear is not looking well. I'm not even sure why I did this, but I moved, took a pawn and I lost a bishop, a, a rook, but I gained their bishop. So far it's looking terrible. Or is it? I then move 
the night out the way. Now, I move a pawn up. And for some reason, and then move they then move their knight I move my knight out of the way and this is where my opponent blunted their queen they moved the queen there some really strange reason that I don't understand. I think it was a genuine blunder. They probably thought they got some sort of checkmate even though they hadn't. I immediately took um, the queen with my knight. They, they didn't even take my knight although they possibly could have done. They decided to go for check. Sorry that was a mistake by me. I had finger problems. Sorry. Um, I'll just go back because I did just to show what happens because I did have finger problems to, sorry on the keyboard so then I took it then they moved the knight out to so check I've no idea what's going on here but anyway both myself and my opponent have, blun have blundered their queens but they both get resurrected by um, pawn promotion now, my opponent castle for some reason. I then moved a pawn and then took a pawn. They for some reason then decided to move their rook um, to protect their knight, but it was futile. I moved the rook up, check. They have to move the king out of the way. I then take the rook, took the rook. They then moved the knight. Check. I took the knight. So it's a knight exchange. They move the king out of the way. They then moved their knight out the way. I'm not going to try, uh, I try, then thought I'd try and clean up some pawns. So, just like maybe they were trying to do one of my pawns. So, I then had to move out the way. I then took the pawn. They move their king down for some reason, possibly to try and take one of my pawns. I immediately moved my, my rook to attack the king. For some strange reason that I don't understand, they then moved um, a knight in front of the king I then moved a pawn up they then decided to start moving their pawn down so they are now deciding to try and promote this pawn this is where it becomes a race they cannot take my pawn with the unite because um, they because their knight is pinned by my rook I simply go ahead steam ahead they decide to carry on they're obviously desperate to get a queen. But this is where it's going to get very interesting.
they are, we are both now one square away from getting a queen. Both of us realistically will get a queen. And we do. But, this is a but. It's my go, I know. At this point, they have realistically lost the game no matter what they do. It's over. Realistically. And they then got what they wanted, a queen. But their queen was useless. This queen never gets the chance to move. It is now mate in I think three or two. You'll see why. I move the king there. I then move the rock they then move the king here checkmate so even though they promoted their pawn to a queen. They never got the chance to use it. They never got the chance to move it. There was nothing they could do at this point. They had already lost at this point. Simply by promoting their pawn to a queen. But could they actually have done anything? Let's see. Moving another pawn would not have helped. Because if instead, again, they cannot take it, so they have the same problems. There's no new opening for them, so that would not help. Again, moving this pawn. would give them the opportunity of moving there but then you could go there and it's now checkmate so, they couldn't have done that either.
if they had moved their king there, Then then the only option I think would be to move back And this may not be the best move, but then... The only move I can immediately see would be this one. And... See. Now if I move here that would be checkmate because they cannot move there because of this pawn so realistically there was nothing they could do once I had a queen it was game over no matter what they did so just to show you it looks fairly even there. It looks in terms of who is going to get the queen first. Both got the queen at roughly the same time. But just because it was my go to go next. It meant it was game over. So there you go guys. It's not just a matter of whether you can get a queen. But whether you can beat your opponent in getting a queen, even when it looks as if it's evenly matched, even if it appears that the race seems to be equal, it isn't. Simply because of who gets to go next. Okay, guys, so there you go. That's a game where... Both players blundered their queens through stupidity. Both players um, managed to get their queens back again via pawn promotion. But only one person could win because in this particular case, even though my opponent had the opportunity to promote their pawn to a queen, it was useless. They never got a chance to move that queen at all. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.